so before we get into this haul i wanted to show you guys what my mom did um for the for my children um and when i tell you she's so creative she's so creative like i could never do i mean she's just so creative like i didn't get that part i don't have the vision that she has and i'm so appreciative of the things that she did that she um does for my children so i just wanted to show you guys these really cute boards um almost like cubicles um for the children because i just thought that these are like this is amazing so this one is hayden so we have had this so if, if stuff doesn't look super intact it's because it has definitely been getting its use um so she put hayden's name here she has calendars here and behind there it goes into 2021 she put a picture of hayden there She's in first grade. She just put some really cute little, you know, be a star and little um, things that she put around the board. She gave her an ABC chart. Um, this one says reading every day. This um, is upside down, but you know, she still can kind of put little things in, in here, like any um her scissors and stuff. She just will kind of have to do it from the bottom. Um, but nonetheless, I think it's really cute. It says, I want to be a mermaid. Down here is um, a ruler. And over here says trying things. My workspace. She put these little, I don't know what you call these holders. I think it's for like the bathroom usually, like for towels maybe or something like that. Not really sure the proper name, but so that way she could put her headphones, her earphones there. There's a My 100 chart because you know the children are learning to count from one to 100. I and mean, this one says be kind and it's just like a really cute little really cute little cubby for her so she can feel like you know she can stay focused and not be looking at her brother her sister or you know it's really cute and then let me show you guys Noah's so this one is Noah's um, this one says work hard and be kind to each other. He has a calendar as well. Um, this is 2021 calendar, but he can, you know, if he has important dates, he can put that stuff there. Over here is his distance learning schedule. So this is his schedule um, that he has um, for his classes. There's some sticky notes here if he needs to write um, any notes down. She gave him his multiplication table, which you know is, is important for the kids. Here's just something that I guess he can, you know, if he has like a paper or an assignment or something he needs to look at to help him with his stuff, he can stick that there. Um, it says study. She also put his, uh, this is his picture he took last year in third grade. She put that there. Um, just some cute little stuff, you know, he's into superheroes, so that's Batman, Iron Man, and the Hulk. I mean, when I tell you my mom is creative, it's like, it's crazy. It's insane to me. Um, just some cute little like clouds, I guess. Um, where he can see himself in the mirror. He also has um, something he can put his um, supplies in. So she gave him a calculator, crayon, sticky notes, highlighter, um, stuff in there. They say welcome to fourth grade because he's a fourth grader. And um, his name, she also gave him something he could put his earphones on. This is his cursive sheet, so he can, you know, I don't know if they're getting into cursive, they should. I know when I was growing up, we learned cursive, um, so it's kind of hard though. I don't know how they're, if, you know, if, he, if he's gotten, I don't think he's gotten to that yet. You know, school has only been in for about three weeks now. Um, what else? Down here, she put these really nice little notes. Like this one says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. A lot of little like Bible, Bible verses she put down there on the bottom. And then she also, there's just a picture of a board setting on the outside of the board. She gave him God's big 10, love God more than you, love anything else. Just like some rules, number six, never hurt anyone. Always be faithful to your husband. Oh, I mean, this is something that she printed. This is his place value to the billions because he's he's actually is learning this in school now. Um, so this is probably very helpful for him. 
um, it's his shapes, you know, just things that he references. That's what the word is, like references. Um, all this purpose, easy as pie, so it just gives you examples of things. I'm um, to and point is entertain when he's reading the story. Showing him, giving him um, a guidance on multiplying double double numbers, double digits, things like that, adding and all of that, long division, just a lot of reference stuff that you know he can use. I just think that it is so creative. My mom is the best when it comes to this type of stuff. I'm telling you. And it actually makes you want, makes them want to work. I feel like they get, they're eager to like wake up in the morning and come sit at their cubicle and like do their work. So I think that this is like such a good idea. And I'm gonna show you guys what she did for Riley because Riley's in the seventh grade. So let's go. Let's look. So hopefully you can see for Riley, she got this. My mom said this was like a card. I think she got from like Dollar Tree or something. And look at that, it's a ballerina. So cute. Um, look, Riley already started putting her own little notes here, finished work by this date. Look, she was checking off stuff. Um, this is virtual seventh grade schedule. This is her schedule, A day, B day. Hers is definitely different from like elementary school. They have, you know, A days, B days. Here's a little pouch here. She can put stuff in if she wants to. Um, she also has study. There's also a calendar. You see, she she had been checking off already on it. Definitely getting this use. Um, with the, she has a little cute little hook on there. Say cheese, smile, and a picture of Riley from her birthday this year when she turned 12. Hey, girl. Okay, so, so we have a camera here. You know, just like a cute little mirror. Uh, it's a llama. Um, what else do you have? Read. Here it says Paris. I think La Dame, maybe? Hmm. But there's an Eiffel Tower. Seventh was being in seventh grade. A heart. Um, just very, like, really cute, really girly. I just really love this love this idea love that my mom did this and then she also gave Riley um, God's Big Ten here so I just want to say thanks mom for this because the kids love them and I just really had to show you guys because I thought that this was amazing so but yeah let's go ahead and get into the grocery haul okay so I don't know why I said grocery haul this is a mixture so it's food and also some household items that I picked up from Walmart. So I'm gonna start with the food. I got two bags of thin cut french fries, which are really easy for lunches. If you wanna make like chili cheese fries or like just cheesy bacon fries or whatever. I got some steakums. This is for something special that I'm, not special. I basically wanna try this recipe out and it calls for steakums. So it's not the traditional sandwiches that I wanna use this for, but for something else. Got these deep dish pizzas, one cheese that has two in it, one pepperoni, cause some kids like pepperoni and then some kids like cheese. Picked up these Duncan Hines dark chocolate fudge brownies, brownie mix. I don't typically do a lot of baked goods. I will buy sweet stuff for the kids sometimes, just for something, you know, something sweet. Um, but I had a taste for some brownies and some ice cream, so picked up that. Some swipe fillets. I used to watch this lady. I told you I love YouTube. I used to watch this lady, and she always was eating these fried swipe fillets. It's sway, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And when I found them in the store, and I actually fried them one day, I was like, oh yes, I will never. Like, I don't buy tilapia. Um, the whiting I still will buy, but this for frying is everything. Okay, got some chicken breast. Nice thick chicken breast, Minute Maid Tropical Punch, Mango Punch. I actually love Peach Punch, but they didn't have, I didn't see Peach Punch. 
we got a big thing of ranch because we go through ranch a lot and you know if you really want to get your kids to eat veggies my kids love veggies anyway but give it let them dip their carrots their celery sticks cucumbers and ranch and they'll probably eat it like crazy i know my kids my kids do i think that's all i got for food because i went in i had a list i got some stuff that i'm getting from amazon fresh deliver so i will show you that um but for now this is what we got from walmart as far as the food for household items i picked up this soft soap antibacterial soap i used to buy a lot of those little dollar you know the dollar ones that you get but i was like why would i do that instead of just buying something that i can refill them and not having to keep spending a dollar 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 so this is what i got i want to say i've noticed this more now of course with covid um going on that sometimes you'll find this you'll get hand soap and it's not antibacterial so you want to make sure you buy the antibacterial hand soap so that's what i got picked up some ajax dishwashing liquid um even though i have a dishwasher still buy this because it's almost like you gotta wash the dishes before you put them in a dishwasher which is probably backwards but whatever <laughs> I mean, defeats the purpose, but um, so I got some toothbrushes. I always try to pick up some toothbrushes whenever I go to the store because it's good to change them out. Some ultra bright toothpaste, I picked up two of those. I got this biotin dry mouth oral rinse, a um, really good mouthwash. And then I got these wipes. These are baby wipes, but they are flushable. So, you know, can't be clogging up the toilet. And then over here, I got some, did some pins for me for work because we're working from home. And I got two little notebooks, um, one for work, one for just, you know, jotting down and, you know, gathering my thoughts. Right here, I picked up some vitamins. So this one is a probiotic. Um, very important for women, I think for men as well. It's good for your gut. Good gut health promotes good gut health. And then I got some vitamin D, really good for women as well. A lot of women, you may not know it or not, have um, has a a vitamin D deficiency, and so I'm one of those women. <laughs> I bought some emergency because you know flu season is approaching. We already got you know was our that virus going around and already, and then on top of that we adding the flu. So I just got some emergency to pump up our immune system. Some trash bags, just some simple trash bags. I got this um, printer paper because my mom bought me a printer over there, a printer for. Um, for my birthday and I ran out of paper so I got this paper because um, for work of course as well as um, I've noticed that my youngest daughter when it comes to her schoolwork they give you know everything is on Google Classroom they'll have little things that you can print out or they'll tell you to take a picture and upload it for me some of those things like it's it, sometimes her homework is on a certain template and instead of me writing out that template so that she can do the assignment it'll just be easier to just print it and then still upload it and take a picture that way i got some toilet paper scott a thousand what is this a thousand sheets these are the double rows got some paper towels back there regular old paper towels some paper plates because i get tired of washing dishes and then this hopefully it's a good one you guys if you have a blender or this brand please let me know because i'm telling you i um i want to start making smoothies and just you know for breakfast because i get tired of like baking sausage like bagels you know sometimes i want something really tasty and light so i got this so I got this blender and it was actually $20 so I don't think that's bad we'll see how it works we'll put it to use to see how it works but yeah so this is what I picked up um, I also got a case of water which is typical it's like 40 bottles of water in there uh, from Walmart but this is what I picked up in this week's Walmart haul and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Amazon and then yeah 
Okay, so this is everything that I got delivered from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side. I got two packs of turkey bacon. Um, then I got some hot dogs for lunches, some provolone cheese. Um, I'm actually trying out a new recipe that goes with the steakums. So we'll see, stay tuned for that. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I got these tortillas flour tortillas I got this Mrs. Mrs. Butterworth syrup um, I honestly I don't even think I've ever tried Mrs. Butterworth but I hear that it's good and what I want to point out is if you are ordering groceries from Amazon just pay attention to the sizes of like the pounds the ounces like what it is that you're purchasing because I really thought that was going to be bigger as well as this almond breeze almond milk I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger but I guess I didn't pay attention to the size we got some whole milk um, ever since I bought the kids chocolate syrup and like the chocolate strawberry you know the strawberry syrup milk has been going crazy in here got some Italian cheese Italian five cheese we got some fresh bananas this is gonna be for smoothies um, and if you if your bananas go bad but like before you get a chance to eat them cut them up put them in the freezer and then they you know then you can like use them for smoothies and stuff and they won't you know you don't have to worry about them going bad i got some fresh strawberries which i'll probably do the same thing because like i said this is primarily for smoothies i got some green peppers i got two green peppers and then down here i got two bundles of asparagus so just so you can get an idea they give you like really good stalks they're not like thin like sometimes you'll go to the store and like the asparagus are really thin um, but these these are not so I like getting asparagus from Amazon some more pizzas I did not know this was in my <laughs> garden <laughs> oh my goodness I I don't know but for lunches it'll come in handy pepperoni pizzas the deep dish all of these are pepperoni this is for smoothies, red raspberries. We got some wild blueberries, which are um, has, are good for antioxidant. It has antioxidants in them. Um, and then I got some mango chunks. So we're good, I think, with the smoothies. Oh, and then I got some spinach. We love eating spinach, um, but you know, this can you could throw some inside your smoothies as well. So I got two packs of baby spinach. And then down here, this is what the ground beef looks like. Like, there's obviously different kinds of ground beef. This is the 80-20. Um, and this is what it looks like. That's a pound. Pound of ground beef. So I got two packs of those. Um, I was running out of garlic powder. So I got some garlic powder. Cream of mushroom. I got two cream of mushrooms. And then... I got two cream of chicken, which makes for really tasty meals and easy weeknight meals. I got some hot dog, hot dog buns to go with my hot dogs and just some Wonder Bread. And back here, I got some chicken nuggets because the Tyson's chicken nuggets, I think they are really good. And these are shaped like dinosaurs. So... Yeah, this is everything that I picked up from order from Amazon. So if you guys like videos like this, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next grocery haul. Next one is going to be a big one, a big once a month grocery haul. So please stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys. Bye.